Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and today we're going to be doing another pack opening and this one's going to be a pretty huge pack opening. I'm opening up like over a hundred revenge cartel packs. Uh, recently the revenge cartel packs and the plunder packs are on blowout sale and what you'll see in the background of this video is just me opening them. And the reason I do these kind of really huge pack openings is number one it's on blowout sale so it's super cheap. So someone like me who has a few cartel coins backed up from referral link clicks and stuff, it can, be, it can be quite easy to do a lot of these openings. But more importantly I think it gives you you guys a really good sense of really kind of how bad these cartel packs can be sometimes and I think it gives a really good idea of the chances of getting certain items because when you open up a ton of them that's a pretty huge sample size and even then the amount I'm opening in this video is not that big I mean it can't be considered a really accurate sample size uh, what you'll find and I'll uh, ruin the pack opening but what you'll find is not a single defined vented saber I got like one damaged weapon tuning and the occurrence of gold items are very, very low, actually. They're really low in this uh, in this cartel pack opening, and you'll see that. And um, it's quite unfortunate. And so I think this gives you guys a really good sense of um, how many cartel packs you can open and not get a single defined vented saber, not get a single platinum item, and get actually quite, quite few gold items for how many packs that are being opened. Uh, what you'll see recurring very often are grand chance cubes. I mean, it's not uncommon for maybe half these packs to just contain two grand chance cubes each. But that's okay because I'm a proponent of Grand Chance Cubes are a really awesome way to make credits. Um, but in some cases, you know, it's better to actually have really good bronze items. Think back to the Battler Packs. And the Battler Packs, I think, are an example of a really, really amazing cartel pack. Primarily because, number one, you know, the Grand Chance Cube drop rate isn't that big. But the bronze items, things like the Nightlife Operative's armor set, are very, very good armor sets. If you want to make credits on the GTN, if you just want, or if you just want a really nice armor set to wear on one of your characters, it's really great, and that's what I like about that pack. The thing about the Revenge pack and even the Plunder pack, and the Plunder pack's out on Blowout Sale too, um, is they, these are just like hybrid, like, what I'm trying to say is they're either really good or really bad. Uh, the Plunder's Packs is really good in that it contains the Lightning Weapon Tuning, and that is one really rare item. I mean, the Lightning Weapon Tuning is selling on the Harbinger, it was selling on the Harbinger for like 15 million credits, and then recently it kind of dropped to around the 20 million credit range, and that's because these packs have been on blowout sale for about a week, and so obviously the prices are going to drop pretty low, but I can imagine that probably selling for upwards of 50 million credits a few months now in the future, when these packs are nowhere to be seen, and the Lightning Weapon Tuning becomes one of the most rarest and most sought-after weapon tuning. And the reason the revenge packs are obviously so amazing is the defined vented saber And it's one of those packs which um, when it's on blowout sale can be a really great deal because if you get that saber you are going to become rich uh, I don't see that saber going below 150 million credits on the harbinger And I've seen other people say it's just non-existent like people have been willing to pay really high prices for it But people just don't have it anymore. It's that rare and you can tell by the end of this video I've opened over a hundred packs and not have gotten a single platinum item so, you know, not even the Defined Vented Saber, I didn't even get the Dual Saber. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, if any of you guys are maybe thinking about getting a Hyper Crate for yourself, know this, you know, I, and I've said this in previous videos and in the comment section of some of my videos, it's not uncommon to open 15, 20 Hyper Crates and not get a single Platinum item. It's just not uncommon, and I guess that speaks to the fact that, um, that uh, Bioware's RNG is kind of messed up at this moment, and you'll see that also, as I mentioned, not many gold items come out of these packs, and you'd think after opening hundreds of, of packs, you'd get a lot of gold items, but that's not the case. As you guys can see here, a lot of the gold items I'm getting are like gold decorations too, and those sell on the Harbinger for like 400-500k, so that's a pretty crappy gold item. Honestly, some of the silver decorations sell for more than the gold decorations from this pack. But um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I think if they want to improve cartel packs, they should really increase the rate of getting some of these gold items and getting uh, the platinum items. That the RNG definitely needs to be changed because at the rate it's going right now, it's just not worth it to open these things. Uh, the one thing I would say is, since these are on blowout sale, it's probably better to just buy them, hold on to them, and when these packs get embargoed, which they will get embargoed like in the coming week, maybe just sell the individual packs. I, I'm sure these things will sell for a minimum of 1 million credits each in the future and probably maybe 1.5, like if you get a good deal you can probably sell it for like 1.5 million credits and that's probably the best way to spend your cartel coins if you have them. Buy these packs, hold on to them, when they get embargoed sell the individual packs. I would not recommend opening them. Uh, the primary reason being, you know, if you're opening those revenge packs, the only really good thing in there is a defined vented saber and the chance of getting that is just way too low to even try it. 
um, and with the plunders packs, the lightning weapon tuning, considering it's not a platinum, rather it's a gold item, I would say like if you want to gamble, probably try to gamble with the plunders packs because you have a higher chance of getting that really good jackpot item. But on the other hand, once again, the plunders pack is also full of crap. And so that's the thing about these two cartel packs, and that's one of the reasons I have said the visionary cartel pack is just one of the greatest things in the world because it didn't contain pets, its gold armor sets were pretty okay, it had a really good mount, it had some really amazing decorations, and it was just an absolutely amazing cartel pack to open and make credits off of. But in the case of these two cartel packs, they're just filled with junk. Absolutely filled with junk. Um, all these crystals, some of these decorations, the armor sets are terrible. I mean, the gold armor sets for the plunderers packs are absolutely horrific. They sell for like 100k on the Harbinger, and so that's absolutely unfortunate. The gold armor sets for the Revenge pack are better. Um, you know, the Shea Vizsla and the Wicked Huntress, which is Valen's armor set, those are obviously pretty good. You know, you can usually get over a mil right now, and they're probably going to sell for a few million credits in the future. But, um, but no, the they're just full of junk, so... That's unfortunate, but I hope you guys enjoyed this really short video. I tried to make the pack opening as quick as possible so you guys could, you know, not waste too much of your time, but you still get a good sense of what comes out of 100 plus of these packs. And um, that's it. Ton of junk, a few gold items, not a single platinum item. Very disappointing, and I thought I'd throw this video out there, maybe to help deter anyone who might be thinking about getting these cartel packs. Uh, this should be a good example of really some of the crap you can get. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.